Hello guys, welcome back to PC1 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily PC1 Engineering videos. Today lecture, we are going to find out the support reactions and to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram for this cantilever beam. It is a cantilever beam where one end of the beam is fixed support and the other end of the beam is free. So, and there is also a uniformly distributed load of 4 kN per meter acting at the center of the beam. And it is distributed over the distance of 4 meter. And the total length of the beam is 12 meter. So, as we know that this is a fixed support, so it can resist the vertical load. Let's suppose this is support A. It can take the vertical load and it can also resist the moment M. Because it is a fixed support, so it has the property that it can take vertical load, it can take the horizontal load as well as the moment. But there is no horizontal load acting on this beam, so we don't need to consider any horizontal reaction for this support. Now to find out this Ra in the moment, let's suppose that this load 4 kN per meter is distributed over the distance of 4 meter. So we directly take this Ra will be equal to the 4 kN load is distributed over the distance of 4 meter. So we will multiply this 4 kN load with the 4 meter. So we got 16. So this is 16 kN is simply the reaction at this support A. This is the easy way to find out the support reactions. Just multiply the load 4 kN. It is distributed over the distance of 4 meter. So I multiplied this 4 distance. So we got pointed load which is, which is 16 kN and this load acts at the center of this uniformly distributed load. 16 kN. And this 16 kN will be resisted by this support which is support A. So R A is 16 kN. Now how to find moment M? So to find the moment it will be equal to the the moment is only created by this uniformly distributed load. So the moment at A point will be equal to the 4 kN is the load multiply with the 4 which is the distance on which it is distributed multiply with the moment term because moment is equal to the force into moment term. So this is the force and the moment term is the distance from this pointed load up to the point A because we, found, we want to find out the moment at point A. So this distance is half of 4 and this 4. So it is, this will be 2 because half of 4 is 2 meter. This is 2 meter and this is 4 meter. So the total is 2 plus 4, 6 meter. So 6 meter is the total moment arm for this concentrated load. So by multiplying we got 96 kilonewton meter because the force is in the unit of kilonewton and the distance is meter so we are using the SI units for this for this moment so moment is 96 kilonewton into meter now to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram let's suppose these are the reference lines for this cantilever beam and this is the reference line for the shear force and let's suppose this is the reference line for the bending moment so this is the shear force diagram in the unit of kilonewton while the bending moment diagram will be in the unit of kilonewton meter so and these are the reference lines reference lines means that these have the zero zero reference now how to draw the shear force? Simply just look into the reaction which is Ra16 kN is acting in upper direction at this end. So I will start from 0 and I will bring this 0 up to the 16 kN. So let's suppose this is 16. Now it is in the unit of kN so I don't need to write here 16 kN. So this is 16 here and then there is no load acting on this beam up to the 4 meter. So that there is no load up to 4 meter and then there is uniformly distributed load acting in downward direction so and this load is 4 this load is 4 kilonewton per meter multiplying with the 4 meter on which it is distributed 
so it will be 16 kilonewton so this whole load is 16 kilonewton acting in the downward direction this was acting in the upper direction so it was plus 16 this was plus 16 and this load which is acting in downward direction is minus 16 so we got 0 so it means at this point where the total load acts of the uniformly distributed load we will bring the shear force from plus 16 into minus into 0 and then there is no load acting after this end of the load so then the shear force will be 0 so this is the shear force diagram for this beam now this is also plus this is also plus shear force because it is above the reference lines if these shear boxes were below the reference line so we will we would name it negative but these are above the reference line so we consider it is positive now we know that this distance is 4 meter and also this distance also 4 meter we can see from the diagram of the beam now how to draw the bending moment diagram we will use the shear force diagram to find out the bending moment diagram now the area of this box will be the bending moment diagram but we know that the bending moment at point A is 96 kilonewton so it will be minus 96 kilonewton here minus 96 kilonewton meter is the bending moment acting at the point A at the zero distance so this will be always taken as negative because cantilever beam is always subjected to negative bending moment so this is minus 96 and then the area of this shear box which is let consider A1 this is a, a rectangle box so this height is 16 and this distance is 4 meter this is also 4 this is also 4 so the height is 16 multiply with this base which is 4 so it comes out to be 64 and this is plus 64 because it is acting in the upper direction it is positive shear force so this is plus 64 and this is minus 96 so minus 96 plus 64 we got minus 32 so minus 32 kilonewton meter is the moment arm acting at this point at the distance of 4 meter so it will bring a line from minus 96 to the minus 32 now how to find out the area of this box it is a triangle box so we know the height is 16 again and the base is 4 so similarly half base into height it is for triangle and half base is 4 height is 16 so we got 32 and this box is also positive because it is acting above the reference line so it is positive 32 so this was minus 32 it is plus 32 so it comes out to be 0 so it means the shear the bending moment value is 0 here at this point so we will bring this line here like in this way now this line is a 2 degree line or we can say it is a curved line it is a parabolic line why because this was a linear line 1 degree line and this was a horizontal line of 0 degree so it was a 1 degree line a linear line it should be kept in mind that the bending moment diagram is always 1 degree greater than the shear force diagram 1 degree greater than the shear force diagram this was 0 degree line it was 1 degree line it is 1 degree line a linear line so it is a 2 degree line a curve line hope you guys understand how to draw the shear force in bending moment diagram and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.